Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs, and in today's video we're playing some more Roguelands mini mods. So here we go, Roguelands mini is enabled. We have a new uh, skill randomizer, a new seat enabled, photo mode, and backpack manager. These are the four uh, mods I'm running. Let's rock it. So let's select character. I owe it to the Krieg fans. Every time I play Krieg, I always go and play regular Krieg without randomized skills. And I'm like, why would I... Like, Krieg is the most fun character. He doesn't need randomized. But I owe it to the Krieg fans as well. And I would, this would be the second rotation I'd be skipping. And I really do not want to do that to him. Okay, so. Uh, this, this one might be, this one might be dead on arrival. Um, Hellfire Halitosis is a fun skill, but like it doesn't really do much for us. I mean, I see like a, a cloud kill, you know, let myself on fire build working with the major problem I'm having here is I just don't have the... The healing to get it done. I mean, but I, there is bloodbath, but is there blood-filled guns? There is. So I can I can stack bloodlust and I can cash out bloodlust. I see a lot of bloodlust in my trees. I could also do it with Hellfire Halitosis, which if you get it rank one, I mean, I, don't you owe it to the game to at least try? If if they give it to you first, one of the coolest skills in the entire game. Um, do we just increase our max HP? Rising Shot is great for melee. Fire Fiend is as well. Sounds the Voices is incredible for melee. And we do have Elemental Empathy. Would you look at that? You never, dis never disrespect the build until it, until it comes to fruition. This has, also has Blood Trance. Which I, might be th which I might think about Resurgence isn't uh, as great on Krieg as it is on other characters because whenever you're in Buzzax Rampage and you melee someone, you get back to full anyway. But it is a nice skill if you don't want to do Buzzax Rampage. With Counter-Strike, Sounds the Voices plus Counter-Strike, this is the most melee damage I've ever seen. This is 50% per point of Counter-Strike and 50% per point of Sounds the Voices. Couple that with Deathmark. Holy... We owe it to ourselves to try. We owe it to ourselves to try. We go full try hard for the beginning here. Full Krieg try hard. Bu Buzz Axe rampage it. Abuse the cooldown. And we can get to the, to the strongest melee build in history. One of them. Big weakness of this version is that it doesn't have the explosive damage scaling. There's no way to get my buzz axe tosses to be explosive damage. Usually that means you have to supplement it with other things. And I mean, cloud kill, if it works the way it's supposed to, that might, that might supplement it. I know it does. It does. It, I know that it procs off my buzz axe tosses. The problem with it is that I don't think cloud kill does damage on characters that not in my, I don't know what it is about the coding. All right. So for our gear, we have a, a kills. We have this. Reaper, Reaper class mod that can go at any point. This this turtle shield that I definitely don't want at all. A vitality shield is is strong, and a lob shock transfusion. I think we can honestly just take the turtle shield off. Um, stick with the transfusion for now. And we can't respect now, even if I wanted to, but I save four points. Hellfire halitosis is a really greedy take, but honestly. I've never taken recompense. I, I know it's, it's it's shenanigans for sure. I'm not gonna do it. I've never taken recompense because it's recompense because it sounds bad. But this it could be really funny. Yeah, this would be a great a great time to try it too. Absolutely fantastic time to try it. See us better on brawler. Pretty tank enemy to one shot first, don't you think? All right, let's roll. Also, I took off the sliding mod as much as I liked sliding before. I do kind of find myself wishing that, you know, it was just no sliding. At times. At times. Now, we're looking for something that can damage us uh, to get our action skill back. Like, this, when we have downtime like this, there's no reason for us not to be just dotting ourselves and getting our, our action skill back. But for now, we have to wait. I think we'd be, we'd be cheating ourselves if we don't at least take a TDO for TDO shucks. 
and a citrine rifle doesn't out doesn't out dps the, Gat, the gatling gun imo so you can we can gatling gun be gatling gun abuse for a second here gatling gun on high ground spam look at that damage straight through the armor as well didn't hit a single crit there ridiculous oh one shot land those crits it goes off we're at 5 out of 10 enemies. I've been considering turning off the setting. I can do it now, actually. The setting. Uh, mods. Clear enemies on end of round. I've been debating turning that off. This is like the old school days. Of you just farm until you feel like you're done. Also, set offline mode on enabled. I have that turned on. And disable claim reward message. I have that turned on. So I wonder how that's going to work. Okay, Vault Symbol Me. Let's hope we get uh, something powerful. It doesn't need to help me right away. That certainly helps me right away. Ah, a little bit of a whiff there. I picked up that Jacob's one. I think I am going to do this. I'm getting dangerously low on HP, and I... You know, I, I really was hoping I could get a full heal off that guy, but I died a little bit too fast. If I had released the beast, which I do not... This build will not have released the beast. I mean, come on. We owe it to ourselves to try it anyways. Doesn't have fuel the rampage either. There's going to be no way for us to get our actions to go back except for raw cooldown. Which, I mean, of course it's possible. It's just... Taking damage also, <clears throat> also works. Is a big part of that too. So I can still Corrosive Cloud myself. The problem is, it's going to hurt me a lot. This might be like a full aggressive Buzz Axe Rampage. Get it done in one th go. And you take that skill that gives me more Buzz Axe Rampage duration. Because I need it. I think, you know, this, this could have something. Like a full Bruiser Brawler freak build. You know what I'm saying? That could be fun. I think that could go to the moon. Okay, so that's 10 out of 10. There's no uh, round clear on end. Honestly, I'm not sure how I feel, whether I'd want to on or off. I've gotten so used to it being off that I don't know if I could go back. Okay. The only issue with this now is that I cannot build stacks of of bloodlust without something like blood filled guns can't do it not possible is the weapon swap one somewhere you can also do it with the weapon swap one i believe i can try it for i put one point into it for science based purposes but i'm pretty sure there's no way that that gives me stacks it has to have this special blue text dealing damage to an enemy adds a stack of bloodlust stacks decay after a few seconds if you haven't dealt damage So I think without that text, it does not work. But whenever I have gotten uh, a a bloodlust skill, I've always gotten at least blood-filled guns or the other one, the weapon swap one. Which I do not believe I have. Okay. Do we do we want grenade fuse time? Honestly, it can heal us up, but. I kind of want Bloodlust stacks, and I can't get down to this anyway. And the melee damage, while it is cool, there's going to be no way to, to play defense at all. Unless I have super long bu buzz axes for rampages. That's correct. Okay. This skill is like, makes you better at everything doesn't include melee when there's so many random skills in the game do the ranger seriously doesn't get melee increases like this there, there are so many other skills in this game that give you just random melee damage just random i think i saw one earlier this one's not random that one's actually really important but 
if I can find one home, and for some reason the ranger being one that doesn't is, is shocking to me. I think I need to keep going down this tree, and I'm going to take ranger because I don't want to be able to light myself on fire quite yet. This is a hybrid build for now. Like, there's no way we can go without it being hybrid. So we're going to get our guns as strong as we can get them. At the same time as making our Bozak's Rampages uh, strong. So the explosive damage is nice. Um, and the big, the big night chance and magazine size is nice here too. The magazine size in particular is calling my name. That's just a really nice boost. So we get our pressure pad and then we're good to go. I think we might have already grabbed this one. Yeah, we did. All right, let's roll. Mobbing round one officially done at a record time of 11 minutes. People that stick around for these are... I mean, we we, set, we try to set ourselves up in the... You have to do your work early. To figure out what kind of guns you're, you got. And then roll on. I rewatched back some of my fully randomized, randomized run, and people were telling me in the comments that uh, that every gun is completely random. You, I, I was, I was kind of leaning on the cards to give me some information, and they were like, "The cards are a lie." Someone said the cards were a lie. Someone was like, "The cards only tell you one trait of the weapon. You really have to shoot, pick up and shoot everything." And that was kind of like the moral of the story: pick up and shoot everything. Well, I don't. There's too many. I can't do it. Oh, can't do it all. So, what's my compromise? I think that there's a there's a mod. Speaking of, can't drops, dude. A fabled tortoise. Can, can you chill out? Here we go. I got the full heal. Happy about that. Hmm. I'm definitely not gonna run this tortoise. This would make me too slow. I I have grenades. I have grenades for healing if I need them. Look at that. Look at that. Here they come and they do some damage and it heals me. People forget how broken transfusions are. And it's lob too. The only thing that's bad is this fuse time. But my I do reduce for fuse time eventually. With, I believe, melee kills. Is it gun kills? Killing an enemy with a bullet increases your melee damage and reduces grenade fuse time. So yeah, while I'm in while I'm in this form, I can just play with guns, throw grenades, and then when I go Krieg form. Oh, you know what? This is this is the Krieg blend. Maybe we don't throw axes as much. Maybe we do throw axes as much. But we do rely on our guns when it comes up. And you don't have to get low to use Buzz Axe Rampage. You can use it whenever you want. You gotta get out of that habit. Or at least the beast kind of forces you into that habit. Okay, also it's because I, I don't have the round end on clear. Or a clear stage on round end enabled. But I'm having fun with it. I do have five points to put in that I can use to, so I don't accidentally die to these lads. Let's do... I'm trying to think about what helps me now, and it's Ranger. We have to take we have to take Ambush to get down. So I don't know how I'm going to get them to target someone other than me. I don't think it's possible. But who knows? Why, so why not just put the points in Ranger? Oh, I did. Yeah, because I just I don't want I don't want to light myself on fire right now. Maybe in the future when I have more payouts. But as of right now, I don't. So I don't see what's in it for me at the end of the day. Let's pressure plate this bad boy up. But right now, the weapon to beat is this is this Gatlin gun. It's building a TDR collection. Okay. The spinning gun has a ridiculously big mag size right now. So let's just let's just grab it. I think we owe it to ourselves. And we have an overkill to to, to, uh, to scale us against. Oh, we did a second ago. All right, let's go and organize, shall we? Overkill, you're in.
You better, you better, you better produce. You've got a Jacob's grip and a Torg stock. The Torg stock should help us a little bit in the accuracy department. Although you would wish for a, a, a Hyperion stock for fire rate. The Jacob's grip, I do not believe, has any negative effect. Although the positive effect, I'm not too sure. But this overkill seems kind of nice. And then for a super long range, I think I might go to a sniper rifle, honestly. I've yet to burn anybody. I took the skill. I've been afraid to use it. I seem to, to send it on somebody. Assault rifle, max ammo. Launcher, max ammo. That sounds pretty good. Shield capacity, shield recharge rate. Can be useful if we get the right shield. Override cooldown rate. But not as important. Not as important. Let's roll. All right, into the Badlands we go. Let's burn some skags. Oh, so. Make sure this is organized the way I want it to be. The spinny gun, is it? I think we owe it to ourselves to get some access to some slag. All right, ultimate badass corrosive skag. Here's we, here we go. This is what it's all about, right here. Get, get a quick kill on somebody else. Quick kill on somebody else. Get back to full. Okay, now we need it. There's a rabbit skag here too. Just by the way. Ain't none of, I guarantee you, 25% of you just died. I'm knocking 25% off the, off the top. Maybe not died, but at least got second winded. Not me though. You're like, <laughs> you're talking trash and not and not taking free double damage on enemies. Call it free, but you have to one land the shots. Two, you have to get the slag chance to actually pop. And three, you're gonna take a million damage from a rabbit skag and die. Not quite. Not quite. Almost. Almost. Oh, you're gonna get tracked down. Later, kid. <laughs> I talk so much trash to AI. Not even AI, just digital models with a certain set path. Let's. That Vladoff is an X2. The Gatling gun, although it's good, I kind of want to hit the bench just for a second. I still haven't used my burn. That was an excellent opportunity to see how much damage it did. I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? I mean, it's a nice doll rifle, but I don't want the, the blade. But I think we give it a chance. I haven't, I haven't even gotten the overkill a chance. I, got, I have to stop doing that to myself. The overkill deserves a chance. We just looked at it for so long. Okay, so the first weapon we're going to try is this. Vladoff TMP. Then we're going to go to the overkill. And then this TDR is sticking around for now times two supposedly should be slagging quite a bit more the overkill is just a, it's a close range specialist it's like i am i am the next best highest damage thing to a quad is what it's trying to tell you and i do feel that it's just it has a giant mag size but it gives up on some of that damage because right now in my head, like, the quad is still, if I'm looking for, for a primary weapon that's a times 4 shotgun out of all the, uh, all the manufacturers, the quad is still the one I go to. But uh, that number 2 spot is up for grabs. It's up for grabs. Look at me. Look at me depending on my... Transfusion grenades. Playing is smart. Switching to my slag. Lagging up. Didn't get it. That's okay. We just go buzz out my page now. There you go. Um, the competition is the only. It looked. They both look terrible. I mean, if, if there's a non-option, I take a non-option there. This hurts my brain. Okay, now I can. Now I can not only stack up. We not only get blood, uh, bloodlust stacks, but I can stack them up very quickly with cloud kill. 
you're gonna, we're about to see a, an exhibition on how it's done as far as stacking Bloodlust. Um, at this point, it's really about what? It's really about, could it go down here to Blood Explosion? I think this is just, until we get all the melee points we want, I don't think we should really be focused on the melee build. As much as I hate to say it. You can always pivot into it later. I think I just I just have too many great gun skills. Too many great gun skills. To be concerned about the melee for now. But Salt the Wound is also insanely strong for melee. And so is Death Mark. Yeah, um, once we get there. Once we get the points. We need two skill trees to make that work. But now we focus on our gunplay. And I think maybe getting back our shield. As much as I hate to say it. Maybe the way to go. Let's see, it's a train rifle. Now th I'm also looking I'm also in the market for the second best Vladoff sniper. I know there's the Vlachny. I know there's the uh the one I just picked up. The horror show. So there's the horror show. And by the way, that this this overkill did what I needed to do. I don't I'm not sure how much long it's gonna stick around. Mm hmm. So I'm trying to figure out which is the best second Jacobs uh, sniper. So, a Droog, I think it feels like number one to me. I'm not sure what it is about it. Room cleaner is a times three, but it's shock. Okay, join the party. Let's go. I foresee this build being a shotgun specialist with salt the wound. Hybrid build between melee and guns. Uh, kill skill duration plus six bloodbath. Plus six in bloodbath and plus five in blood overdrive. That's obnoxious. That's 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 obnoxiously strong. Let's get a respec in. That's ridiculous. So on each kill, my melee damage goes up, which which is fine. When I want to use Buzz Axe Rampage, it'll be there. But what I'm really concerned about is this this ridiculously low fuse time. Because my grenades right now a three second fuse time. So let's let's do the math. It's half a second per stack. So at Minus half, no, minus, not half a second. It's 5% of a second. Yeah. So five hundredths of a second. So I need to get to 20 stacks is one second. So 60 stacks is three seconds. If I'm at 60 stacks, my transfusion should have no fuse time. I can I can negate up to five seconds of grenade fuse time. Now, that's kind of ridiculous. We have reload speed here if we want it. We have weapon aim speed. We also have move speed while aiming. I think these are all great skill, great things. The reload speed, of course, is nice. I do. I'm a little bit partial to reload speed personally. Blood bath is going to significantly increase our damage with splash damage weapons. And now I need a way to stack it. I need to get the blood filled guns. I don't have a choice. Five in Ranger. Five in Ambush. I need to get there. I don't have insufficient funds. Okay, we have to go on a money spree. Put all my points in the bloodlust right there without a single way of cashing it out. I mean it's not it's not the end of the world right now. I can get through this next round, but. We need more points is what we need. This, I mean, I'm getting excited in the skill tree simulator, basically, because there's so many synergies here. Let's just, let's just play it smart. We're dotted up immediately here, which is going to stop our shield from regening at all, regardless of how much cover we have. Really got to take advantage. And I threw two transfusions for pretty much basically no reason, but it did soften up their shields. 
they had shields or just swapping them up in general. All right, let's do it. A loot enemy. Let's pull up the slag barrel. Nice. Okay. And who's hitting me over here? I'm not sure, but I need to grab that legendary. Legendary psycho class mod. Um, I'm not sure how much that's going to help. It's transfusion time. Three seconds. Fuse time. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. There they go. I'm a little bit healed up. They're a little softened up. That's when I make my move. Go. And if I can get close range like this, close the gap, then I don't stand a chance. I could be using something like a horror show, but I, I prefer the the gameplay of bandit shotguns, personally. I'm just a bandit shotgun kind of guy. Pump action shotties. Okay, I will say, like, I always have this, this, this battle in my head of, like, what's the coolest kind of shotgun? And it comes down to double barrel versus pump action. Fully automatic is cool, but it just feels like a little bit much sometimes. Anything that can help me right now? Not really. Also damage maybe. A crunch class mod can actually go pretty crazy with this build. If I can get a, if I can get one strong explosive scaling weapon, even if it's a Ravager, um, especially if it's a Ravager, you know, it could go pretty crazy for me. Yeah, what you give me? It's, there's no way it's the Boom Puppy. Well, I can't try it yet. The birth's about to start aiming at me. All right, birth monster. Wait, I do have. I got the kill skill, but it doesn't. It doesn't do that much without. Stack to bloodlust. Just go back to our traditional Kree gameplay. And nothing but chicken wing. Okay, we just chuck axes. It's honestly not bad damage. Almost feels kind of nice. Just to chill here and... Put shotgun shot after shotgun shot in the big Bertha. Useless boss. You say useless, but like the first time you play it, like as a kid, you get absolutely trounced by it. I know I did. It's like, hey, what's with that, what's with that giant knockback effect? That's not cool. I don't want to eat a full volley here. Let's start throwing where my transfusion's out. Yeah. Okay. Rather play a little bit defensive. Let the transfusions come find me. His volleys are scary. Always have been, always will be. Nice shot. Okay. So we'll go ambush, blood fill, guns and cloud kill so now we have a way to actually proc our kill skills the issue that i'm having now is that one i'm not gonna get the blood explosion but two i don't have an explosive damage weapon i have the boom puppy which don't get me started on the effective effective carrying capacity of the of the boom puppy it's not going to carry my run. No way. All right, so we drop and we make it. Oh my gosh. Okay, the FaceTime. It's like the little brother of the shotguns, but I think it's the middle child. No one remembers the FaceTime because like the times three times four is like kind of meh. The times one's like nice. The times two is like, hey, I can fire four times with mediocre damage sorry <laughs> there's a reason you're the middle child <laughs> just call your just to say that you're here when i call your name <laughs> all right so we slag and bag this turkey lag and then 
Uh, I think a horror show might have a certain something for us here. I should probably... I should probably go for something different, but the, the thing is here that... All my damage is on kill skills, now that I'm realizing it. So I gotta be careful here. Be slagged. Nice, nice, nice shot. I mean, I'll give it to you. It was a nice shot, but I think I'll be fine here. I can get a kill skill. Yeah, they're, they're all too tanky. That's the problem. Look, let the transfusions get back to me. Go for some more slaggy slag. Take this one shot at a time. That land crits, I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about anything. I would stop shooting his eggs at me and attack somebody other than me. Usually he's not fully aggroed onto you. When he full, is fully aggroed onto you, it's actually kind of a hard boss, I think. So I go down here, I'm dead. Because look how tanky this lad is. Should be something low nearby. Yeah, there we go. This guy just will not stop targeting me. Oof, this is a tough fight. Just some launchers. This turkey is all over me. I need to slag him up again, for sure. Yeah, hopefully they start having a full-out war here. At least keep cloud kill on him. At least to keep my dad up a little bit. Let me go for some crits here. Not bad. That's not bad damage at all, Mr. Gobbler. Shooting in the middle is not helping. Okay. We just run. He's not going to be slagged anymore. Got to make sure we reapply. Look at that. Bandit shotguns for slag 2024. Change your slag option. Forget the ways of the past. It's all bandit shotguns nowadays. Um, Speaking of shotguns... Um, you know what? It might be the time for the... It's, his, it's the comeback kid. Kill skill duration plus 55% is actually super nice. Get a kill. Oh, okay. I understand. I understand. Alright, the comeback kid. It's the Gatling gun. There we go. Okay, this sh this should have round clear after after round is over. Just saying. Okay, keep the twister, keep the deputy's badge, keep the teapot. Leave the 12 pounder, get the keep the pocket rocket, grab a Thompson, and we gotta roll. We gotta go. I'll see you guys later. Enjoy your fight. Okay. Three red chests, and then we head into our first boss. First raid boss. 33 minutes in. Not the fastest run in the world, but we're making it. Flat off damage. Shotgun damage. Ladies and gentlemen, a little bit of a hot mama and a horror show. It's gross that we take. Now, I'm probably box bound because honestly, a splash damage weapon. Hector's Paradise. Hornet. Uncapped Herald. A peak opener. They all send us to the moon. I don't see reason not to use a B shield, personally. Okay, box. I need you to, to hit me up with a splash damage weapon. I hate you. Um. Here, let's take it. Don't shoot it in here. Let's go back to our options mods and turn back on clear enemies on round end. I think I do like that. So. Yeah, what is it? A Tidor Shock Plasma Caster. I wonder if I do. As far as ugh, ammunition, I think it's it's probably. I don't know. Let's just go launcher because I can hit it twice. 
And for our five points before we had, well, we're gonna, I'd rather see what boss we get before we put our five points into it, honestly. It is Petimus Prime, which is tough, but let's not be afraid. Let's go get him. So we have Blood Splosion, which I don't, I'm not sure if I have the damage to get us there with just Blood Splosion. I don't, I'm not, I'm not consistent enough with the skill. Something like Quick Charge makes a lot of sense to me with the B Shield. I mean, it makes a lot of sense to me. Quick Charge. Um, fast Weapon Swapping sounds good to me too. Unfortunately, we don't really need Bloodbath here is the problem. What's going to be the highest DPS for me? Maybe, honestly, we just want more quick charge. Yeah, let's do it this way. And for weapons, so we need, we need a way to slag. So that's going to that's gonna be that weapon right there. But a way to take down his shields should be this plasma caster. Kill skill duration is what we want. It's gonna, that's going to help us keep our B up. And we don't want to waste any time. We want to get some lads out here. Get some lads out here, activate some kill skills, and, and go for it. Already dotted, I need to get to the waterfall. Do my B shield, my B shield is even fighting through that dot, which is craziness. Imagine what it's gonna, gonna do to every other kind of damage in this game. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go, back to our slag programming. Okay. Not bad, Pete damage. Not bad, Pete damage. Not bad, Pete damage at all. All right, let's get some more kill skills up and run. Oh, perfect timing. Nice stop, brother. Okay. Go ahead and slag. Go for a bag here. That kill skill duration is so insane. Not in any rush here. Yeah, I think he takes a little bit more from grenade tosses, but the, the problem is it is eased to my ammo too quickly. All right, secondary option. Do I have anything shock here? This room cleaner might get the job done. Go back to this one. There we go. Good job, B. And he's going to go again here, so we're going to... We actually have to go into this uh, waterfall again. How? 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 So say, leave him up for kill skills. Maybe I should be. Okay, I'm gonna start getting ready for another for another dot. Can I not hit back there? Go for the dot, brother. That way I can actually play the game. There you go. Can I block it here? Holy. Goaded player. Okay. B shield him. How's he not slagged? I thought I spent so much time slagging him. I think that's doing a good chunk. Come on. I know you're doing it. There it is. Okay. Go back to slag. Okay. Back to bag. Hmm, I'm not sure how much longer I can maintain this with the amount of ammo consumption it's, it's pushing.
mean, I know I can pick up ammo off the ground and such, but I'm kind of hard to come by. I want to use the Mongol. I think that's going to get me killed. Can't slag him right now because I'm out of shotgun ammo. Which the box kind of trolled us this time around, I, I will say. Maybe this Thompson is going to be good enough. I can't eat up that much ammo. Yeah, maybe with the B shield that could be good enough. I slide this lad. Okay. Go for accurate fire. Yeah, it's definitely doing it. Ah, uh, bad play by me. Yeah, oh, nice try. Oh, nice try. Once this guy goes for the big dot, I can start playing the game again. There we go. Get a slag. Push the Thompson, which is on number three. I'm getting used to pressing the button. That one skill that increases your weapon aims uh, or moving while aiming is actually really nice for this fight. I would say. Oh, yeah, this is much stronger now. Don't get punched. They get dotted there. All right, let's go kill some more lads. Rely on that B shield. That seems to be the way to go here. Okay. That's why we do quick charge. Kill one. Get our shield all the way back up to full, if you don't mind. You guys relax. Don't hit me. Your job is to not hit me. That's your job. Okay. He's going for it. I didn't get hit. Nope. I didn't get hit. Okay. Is he slagged? He is. Go to the Thompson. This should be the end of his life. There we go. Thompson came in clutch there. Holy cow. Kind of really, really strong. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. All right, what is this? Firestorm grenade? It is a good grenade. This looks like a Patriot, which is... Every time I've used it, it doesn't feel that good, and I think other people might feel the same way. Hmm. I think a big boom blaster. It just has too much utility to take. Over the, uh, over the stat stick. The stat stick is what it is. The big boom blaster is an actual good utility shield. For launcher and grenade builds, which is looking kind of like where this run's heading if I don't start getting some grenade damage. Or some, yes, yeah, like some splash damage weapons or something. It's not even like a Ravager or anything like that. Let's roll. And that's okay. This Thompson proved that it can do enough damage. I don't have to, you know, go searching for an option when I one's right in front of my eyes. You know, how did how did the Mavericks not know that they had what they needed with Jalen Brunson? I mean they got they have Kyrie and all that, but Jalen Brunson is that dude. Alright. I'm not a Knicks fan, by the way. Just he's just an insanely good player, I think. For me, it's Washington Wizards. Washington Wizards die hard. It's like you really, people go, oh, you really like them. Yeah, I do. I was in a, a class last semester and people were talking about the Wizards and I was like, oh, the Wizards and blah, 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 blah. I jumped in, started talking and people were like, yeah, we kind of suck. Like they were sad. I'm like, oh, this is the best time to be a fan. They're like, oh, you're one of those. You're the hopefuls. <laughs> hey. Yes, I am. I think we owe ourselves to go down to Blood Explosion, probably, but that melee build will see the light of day, I'm hoping. 
It's it's getting close to being there. I see death mark. I might be better than the Mongol. So I, I don't I just don't trust the Mongol. That's pretty cool actually. Get him. Get him. Ooh. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's pick up this bad boy over here. Let's shoot some Mongol shots. Oh yes, the carnage. Oh yeah. And I can go big boom blaster. And it's procking bloodbath. The only problem is gonna be healing. I can I can spam transfusions out. And ammo consumption, but I have launcher max ammo. That's not good at all. Where's the target to shoot? Not good at all. Um, grenade chucks. Can I, can I hit this guy? No. No, it can't be. It is. Well, uh, the build didn't end up making it end up getting there, but honestly, we had fun. Uh, we wanted to have fun with that launcher just for one second, and it just ended up getting us killed. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.